So we last left you going on the, how do you say it, Greg? Fluella. Fluella Pass. We just got off of it and now we are driving to La Punte to go see the 30th Grand Tour sign on our list. Very exciting. And La Punte is known for the Quesa Merlita, which is stubbed with battlements and it is a landmark of proud La Punte. The impressive ensemble of splendid patrician and guest houses dates back to the 16th and 17th century. We made it to La Punte and now we are looking for the sign. Let's hope we can actually find this one. Sure, we've got some sleepy little girls. town of La Punte, and this is our 30th Grand Tour sign. Uh our 31st Grand Tour sign, guys. We started with 28 today. This is our fourth one. Well, kind of. But we're in the beautiful St. Moritz and check out these amazing, gorgeous views. And St. Moritz ranks among the world's top holiday destinations. Steeped in tradition, it is the birthplace of winter tourism in the Alps and the venue of two Winter Olympic Games. St. Moritz came to prominence through its hot springs, which have been known for 3,000 years and have long helped establish the village as a summer spa. So we're excited for our one night in beautiful St. Moritz. We just checked into the hotel, Reina Victoria in St. Moritz, and we booked a family room. So we have a nice little entryway in here for shoes and luggage and all that. And then you come into the bedroom. And this is Greg in my bed. And then the girls each have their own little bed. The hotel is beautiful. The hotel room is a little rundown. It's a four-star hotel, but still nice. There's a couch over here. And they provided a doggy bowl for Yeti. So we put all that in here. And here is also a nice bathroom. We have a bidet. Are you girls having fun? Yes! It's so cool, there's a bench in the pool. Is it nice and warm, Greg? Yeah, it is warm, yeah, it's so warm. And you have a pretty awesome view, huh? <laughs> Good night, beautiful St. Moritz. Such a gorgeous sunset. And we will see you all tomorrow morning. Good morning. morning. Livy, where are we going now? We're going on a funicular train up a mountain to hike. Yes, we're gonna go hiking in St. Moritz in the mountains. We're super excited. Has see it, see you at the top. We are about to board the cable car. And we're going up to the top of the signal. And then we're going to hike down. So there's only one cable car running, and that's the one that we took from St. Moritz Bad, which Greg is going to point to. Well, and we, we got came from here, we're here. <laughs> and we're now at Signal, which is 2,130 meters, just shy of 7,000 feet. And we started a little bit above 6,000 feet. So now we're going to hike down to where our car and hotel is. So yeah, let's um, let's go to Heidi. Let's that go way? to Salastrains and then come back down Alpina. Okay. Over to Sor Soretta. 
Okay. And then down the signal, yeah? Perfect. Sounds right. like a plan. And then we just follow the, the yellow side. Some playground on our way down the mountain. <laughs> so we started at that brown building. That's where the cable car took us. We came all the way around here, and we've only gone about three quarters of a mile, so we still have quite a way to go down. Look at all these skulls with antlers that we found. Come, or look antlers on this with side. skulls. There's oh my goodness, bigger. they're so much bigger over here. I wonder who lives here. I don't know, Probably. but it's pretty neat. About two miles into our hike down the mountain. It's probably about three, three and a half miles, but it's all downhill and there are beautiful views. The girls have been complaining a tad bit, but again, it's downhill, so it's not too bad. The hike ended up being three and a half miles, and the girls were thrilled when we were done. Now off to our next Grand Tour photo spot. to our 32nd sign of Bernina Glaciers and there's a pass that goes through these. We won't be able to do that this today, but hopefully we'll come back and do it again. Girls, isn't it pretty? Yeah. So beautiful. So we just went to the Bernina Glaciers and it says they are in Pontresina and it is nestled amongst the mountains, a place for leisure as well as recreation. by this beauty. Olivia's sleeping and Emma's on her iPad with Yeti. Change of plans. Greg's a rock star and we're about seven minutes away from another Grand Tour sign so we're going to go to our 33rd. Hopefully we'll find this one. It's at Via Mala Schlacht or Via Mala Gorge. our 33rd. This was a spontaneous stop because we are about 10 minutes away from it and we are about to get off an exit and luckily my amazing husband was like all up for this so girls you happy to be at your 33rd photo spot? Yes. Good. So this is the Via Mala Gorge and this lies near the historical Via Spruga transit route, one of the many roads that led to Rome in ancient times. Yes. 